eat healthy food or drink more water. Nah, this video isn't about that. We all know how to take care of our skin to the best of our knowledge. Wait, don't we? This video is all about things that we don't pay much attention to as much as we should. Like makeup, skincare too can transform you. If you're new here, my name is Nithi. I'm so glad that you're here today. If you like to watch such videos, please subscribe. And if you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. In this video today, we will see five mistakes that we are making when it comes to skincare. I will show you how you can achieve the desired results with the same products that you already have at home but just using them correctly. Wait till the end of the video for a few tips that are not just limited to the product, but the surroundings around you. Now you guys, you have to trust me on this. Sometimes I feel so lazy that I wish there was an option where I could just say, Siri, please remove my makeup. Yeah, that can only happen in my dreams. So that's when my muscle memory kicks in. But the problem with that is, we tend to go to the same areas while cleaning our face. We keep neglecting the same parts of the face like the jawline, sides of the cheek, temple. If you pay attention to these areas, you will see that skin will get clearer and better. For the longest time, we've been told to use a cotton pad to apply toner onto our face. Now, that was a great idea until I saw a lot of acne on my skin. I realized that there is another option where I have to just take few drops onto my palm and just apply it on my face with my hands. And this made my skin really different, fresher and hydrated. This way, toner will not clog your pores and your skin texture will improve many folds. Star Serum. Serums are a big hit these days. Everybody wants to use them and rightly so because they provide a range of benefits from anti-aging, to pigmentation, to brightening the skin tone, and to reduction of the pores. The one I like to use is the vitamin C. It has reduced my pigmentation and helps help to brighten up my skin. So that's what I like to use when it comes to serum. But you can use as per your skin concern. What you gotta do, you have to take a little amount of the serum, put it on your fingertips, or better if you can directly put it on your skin because the serums comes with a dropper. So you can put a few drops on your cheek, a drop on another cheek and your forehead, nose, wherever you think you need it and then just gently dab it. This way the serum will penetrate into your skin deeper and will give you the maximum benefits. Now as they say, glowing skin is always in. You can choose the serum of your choice as per your skin concern from any brand. I read this quote somewhere. I'm a better person when I'm moisturized. I just can't tell you how relatable I feel to this quote. I don't want you to be near me if my skin is not good. Jokes apart, but that's how we feel when we are not comfortable in our skin. It acts as a barrier between the outside world and the treatments that you have put on your skin like serum. Again, you can buy any moisturizer from any brand. Extreme oiliness and extreme dryness, both ends of the spectrum are not good for your skin. Always apply moisturizer when your skin is damp. That way skin can absorb more moisturizer and it will give you more benefits and not just sit on top of your skin. Ta-da! Apart from using all the products and following the steps, there are a lot of other things that you need to consider when it comes to skincare. So I read it somewhere that phone carries more bacteria than your toilet seat. I know that sounds pretty gross, but if it is true even 1%, then I think we should clean our phone at least once in a week with rubbing alcohol. Now the next one I feel that I'm guilty to, uh, we tend to eat on our beds, we tend to drink coffee, tea on our beds and then for some or the other reason we tend to spill that and you know that's pretty gross because you tend to put your face on the pillow and it will have some bacteria that will be transferring onto your face. So don't be like me, please change your beddings as often as you think they should be. The last thing that we tend to neglect all the time are the products that we use on a daily basis, like a hand wash bottle, your toothpaste, your face wash bottle. You will notice that they are getting dirty day by day. We don't realize that the dirt from the bottle is transferring to our hands and some or the other time it will go on to our face. So that's very important to keep cleaning and sanitizing the products that you use on a daily basis. If you follow these small things that are really important 
you will feel that your skin is getting clearer and better day by day. So that was it guys from my end. I hope you have liked this video and you had as much fun as I had making this video. If you have any skincare or makeup tips or any ideas for future videos, do let me know in the comment section below. Would love to hear from you. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.